Hey everybody, what's up guys? Hey everybody, Rira here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how do you get Final Cut Pro for Mac free. Well, for, for, for free. Now, this really has... Well, this method really surprised me. And I know once I show you it, a lot of people are going to click off. But trust me, if you have never done this before and you really want to and you want to get into editing, I definitely recommend you do this because it, it would... Because this is really something that that Apple lets you do, which in my opinion is awesome. So, and by um, let you do, I don't mean to get it for free. Watch, well, you'll, you'll see. But let you do is what I'm going to be showing. So, um, first thing you want to do is open up your browser, whatever you're going to be using. So I'm going to be using Safari for this. Um, now let's go to Apple.com. Now, once you are on the Apple website, you are going to want to go into the search bar and type in. Oh, sorry, my bad. Once you're once you are on that website, you want to go to the search bar and type in Final Cut Pro and then X Trial. Now I know you are going to say, "Oh, it's a trial," and yes, it is a trial. But it is a 30-day trial, maybe 31, maybe 29 days around there. It might just be whatever month they're in. It might just be a month. But I believe it's a 30-day trial, and believe me, it is absolutely awesome. So um, hit enter to search. So I um, search it, and now the page is going to load. And now here, Final Cut Pro X Trial. Apple experience all the features of Final Cut Pro, the free 30-day trial. Yeah, 30-day trial. So click on that. Now I believe you can only do it once. Well, yeah, I mean, um, but um uh, yeah, so anyways, um I'm not exactly how they know if if you've done it once already. It's probably by email, so it's probably against the law to download it more than once. But anyways, uh here are your requirements. So I do not uh wait, uh, wait never mind. So it does require, uh, well, these, so here you can, um, these, it looks like these are, uh, here are some of the requirements. All right, so in here it looks like it shows some of the, uh, now you can read here just to make sure like, you have the right, re right requirements, like for the minimum system requirements, looks like you can click this. So, yeah, um, and if you, if you are new to Final Cut Pro and you have never edited in your life and you just want to do... And if you're make, making a new YouTube channel or have like an assignment for school, you can click the Final Cut Pro resources page for tutorials and um, how to edit and um, basically, yeah, like use Final Cut Pro. And um, and also, I really recommend you searching YouTube. Nothing against Apple, but on YouTube, I mean, obviously, there's tons of tutorials, but I don't know if you're coming from so somewhere that doesn't really, that, like, you don't watch YouTube a bunch. Um, that you, you don't watch YouTube too much for tutorials. You, you look them up on the exact website. I personally love it on YouTube because you can actually see the person's opinion sometimes. So, yeah. So, you're going to go ahead and enter your first name, your last name, your email address. I already did this. I don't want to get in trouble or whatever if I do it again. And yet, uh, So, um, yeah, there's like, I don't know exactly where they know if, you did, if you've done it more than once. Anyways, you just want to download the trial. Now, it's going to start. I don't, okay, whatever. So, once you download it, there will just be like a little window. Install it. Just anything else. Whatever. So now, once you install it, and yes, see so when you go to like Launchpad or whatever, it does say Final Cut Pro Trial. So I'm gonna open that and right click it, go to Options and Keep in Dock. You don't need to do that, but now it's just be right here, so you don't need to go to Launchpad every time. Yeah, I believe I put it in Launchpad myself. I forgot. I'm not positive. It it might not automatically go there. Well, I, I maybe I didn't. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if I put it in Launchpad. So I don't know if I put it in Launchpad. My I, sorry, you might need to move it into Launchpad. I'm not sure if I put it in Launchpad myself. So now, okay, here, here's this. I'm um, sorry, on the other monitor, it's not recording, I believe. So um, after 14 days, I have about 14 days, uh, for about 14 days left, I believe. So I'm going to hit OK, and you see this window. And I'm guessing without the trial version, it's like just like this, but it just doesn't see trial version. And yeah, so you can ex export your projects. I'm not positive if you're allowed to post them on YouTube. Uh, you can probably look in that and um. Or contact app about that. I don't know if you can actually sell your using the trial version sell movies and make money off them, but you may be able to. I am not positive at all. Not, I'm not sure. Okay, now it is opening up its price of missing file because I was probably doing um, a video off like a flash drive or something.
All right, so yeah, here I was editing my video. I, I really hope you're allowed to upload videos on um YouTube with uh that like you're using the trial, but whatever. I might contact Apple support. I'm not sure, but anyways, here is like the interface. So I'm going to head go ahead and create a new project. So I just want to go to file. Oh, sorry, my computer is kind of slow probably because I'm recording. So file project. I'm gonna call it um for YouTube tutorial. And yeah, okay. Um, you can change whatever you want. Or you can use custom settings. Leave. So now once you're in, you can drag in your clips and it will work perfectly. Um, there may be one or two things. It said full version, but I don't know if there are a couple things or something that is not in the that is not in like the char version that is in the full version. But anyways, um, transitions. You can also install custom effects. Um, not in this. Like download them. I've done this one off the internet. Like a shake effect. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I definitely recommend you. Try this out yourself. I'll leave a link down below in the description below to go to the trial page. Now, I'm sorry if you thought this was like, like, oh, you can get it really for free. No, I am very against that. That is like stealing. I know some people probably are going to say, well, it's nice that you can, but think about that. If you're an app developer and someone just, and if your like account, whatever, whatever it is that people can, um, uh, get limited of your app or whatever got leaked. I mean, wouldn't you be so annoyed and disappointed that you could have made like tons of money because like the app went viral and everyone's downloading it for free so I respect people so definitely do this just to get a feel and one other thing if one other thing if you do they go to the app store I believe it says it's $299.99 like $299.99 for Final Cut Pro but what I learned at the Apple store I was talking to someone once shout out to the person that I was talking to thank you um maybe I don't um if you're watching this thank you I appreciate it but I also got, this is where I learned that you can do a trial, and I also learned this. So, there is also a Final Cut Pro Education. There's something like... So, also, if you go to Apple and search Final Cut Pro Education, there is an offer for... Now, I will also leave a link down in the description below for this. I am, don't quote me on anything I say for here. I don't know if you can only use it for school projects or educational purposes, but I know that there is this program. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a program, but you can get the Pro Apps Bundle for Education, where this is probably, I'd say, maybe an estimate five, six hundred dollars worth of programs in here, applications, whatever you'd like to call it. There's Final Cut Pro, which is three hundred dollars, and I believe that's, um, that's Logic Pro. Oh, yeah, right here. Um, Logic Pro X, Motion 5, Compressor 4, and Mage Stage, um, Main Stage 3. Not positive what it is altogether, but yeah, I'd say about $500, $400, I believe. Maybe more, maybe less, not positive. But you can get it for $200, I believe, if you verify yourself as a student. I'm not exactly positive how it works, but I know that this is a awesome way if you're looking for Final Cut, but I do not know what the limitations are or anything like that. I'm just saying that there is a way you can get it on your system to run for $200, I believe. Sorry. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If we can get to five likes in this video, that would be awesome. And please leave a comment down below what kind of tutorial you'd like to see next or what kind of review. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.